South Dakota. Stop at this pilot, go across the street, check out this cool car museum. This is probably one of my favorite cars here. It's made by hand. It's made out of wood. It's got two engines in it and it's four wheel drive. Well, let me uh, just walk across a couple of these cool cars here, man. Like I said, we've got this handmade car out of wood, one of a kind. Burt Reynolds, Trans Am, General Lee. So this one's and one car that it's kind of, I, I really like it, it's a Messerschmitt. Kind of an underrated car, it's one of those micro cars from World War II. Just a real, real cool car. 1902 Oldsmobile. BMW Izetta. Remember that Family Matters episode where Urkel was driving that? Anyway, I'll uh, get back at you. Hang tight. They're supposed to be on a leash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this actually looks like a real one. Super rare Shelby GT500. Good color combination too, red with the black interior. The reason why you see so many of these in white with the blue stripes is because that uh, white and blue are actually the American racing colors. But you got British green, I believe uh, French was like a, a maroon, and uh, everybody had different colors back in Le Mans. But ours was uh, white and blue. Here come the judge. Hey, so check it out here. We're just in in this building and then you walk out here and they got it set up kind of like an old town where they got like a general store or hospital you got a little railroad car and uh they got the cars all incorporated into these little buildings and uh, a bunch of antiques incorporated in these little buildings and everything it's really cool how they did it anyway let's go in here check check out what they got in here Chevelle, Camaro, oh, what's this, oh, a Kaiser, oh man, I have never seen one of those in person, very cool, oh yeah, this is a shed that I really like, bunch of cars that you probably never heard of I know I've never heard of most of these let's see what we got Scripps booth 1922 these are all car car companies that started out in the early 20s and 30s and kind of never took off we got a 1923 Franklin that's pretty cool looking what do we got here 1934 Auburn Faden. Well, Auburn, they made a decent amount of cars for a while there. They made some pretty cool cars. Auburn, Indiana. I knew that rang a bell. 1921 Moon. Those used to be kind of luxury cars back in the day. Nah. Here's a really nice one. Check out this Stutz. 1922 Stutz Touring. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. If you know anything about Stutz, man. Uh, Elvis Presley loved Stutz and all those uh, playboys, as my grandpa would say. And what do we have here? It's, don't tell me this is a Pierce Arrow. 
It is a pure Cero. Oh my God. You guys got to give me credit and I'm spotting that. Absolutely beautiful. These were super luxury cars back in the day. Super high end, man. $4,000 in 1931. Absolutely beautiful. Man, that's when they were making cars for 800 bucks. What we got down there? Hmm, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Devos Sedan 1931. Never heard of that company, but looks pretty cool. 1940 Buick. We all know that company stuck around a while. What do we got here? A Lincoln Zephyr. This is a V12. Oh my god, yeah. I know all about these. One of the first V12s. Not one of the first V12s, but certainly. You know, not a lot of Fords with V12s, that's for sure. What we got here, we got a Flint. That company didn't last too long. Let's see, Roosevelt Victoria. Because look at the hood on it, it's got Roosevelt right there. That's pretty cool. 1913 Hupmobile. That's cool, very cool. Look at how bare bones cars used to be back in the day, man. I really like cars from the teens and 20s and 30s. They kind of had to, still had wagon stuff on there. Like you see the lanterns over there with your headlights. 1919 Jackrabbit. Yeah. Cars bodies used to be made out of wood back then. 1925 Rickenbacker. Never heard of that either. 1927 Jordan. Man, they had so many people trying to make cars back in the 30s and teens and 20s. A couple cool ones. 1917 o Overland. 1922 Star Touring. Willie's Night Touring. Hmm. I've certainly heard of, heard of Willie's, but never seen that one before. Auburn. Saw one of those earlier. Those were real nice cars back in the day. 1918 Dodge. This must have been like one, one of the first Dodges out there. I believe they used to work for Chevrolet. Grant. Ventura. I think that's a Pontiac. Kind of cool looking. Holzman Model K, 1904. Stanley Steamer. Oh, check it out. Steam engine. There's another one of those. Check it out. Oh, 1914 Bradley or Beard, Beardsley Electric. Not a lot of people know, but back in uh, before the 19 uh, teens, most of the heavy heavy duty trucks on the road were actually electric. So there's a 1914 electric car, man. Very cool, very cool. 1937 Ford. Cord, I mean, Cord. Yeah, there's another one. A Rolls Royce. 1937 Rolls Royce. Man. Shame somebody stole the spirit of ecstasy off that. Another Overland over here. Essex. That was a car company for a little bit there. Lafayette Sedan. Locomobile. Man, never heard of that. Made in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Huh. Well, here's a vet, but it's not a Corvette. <laughs> 1928 Marquis. Made by Buick. Okay. Brush. Oh, man, yeah. Brush made a lot of uh, heavy-duty trucks back in the day. And then... 1920s 1924 page and another overlay got a general store over here there's that boat shed i was telling you about got an old international 
bunch of Jeeps over here. Willie's Jeep. That's before AMC made the Jeep. Got a bunch of tractors. Got a big surprise over here. I'll show you guys here in a minute. O2 cylinder Johnny Pops. John Deere tractors. That's what they used to call these two cylinder John Deere tractors. They used to call them Johnny Pops because it's a pop, pop, pop. Bunch of old tractors here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. A lot of John Deere. John Deere built America. An old case tractor. I have a Wallace tractor. Man, they had so many cool tractors back in the day. Got a bunch of Olivers over here. Check out some of these, man. Look how heavy duty they were, man. Look at all that steel that went into these things. Got some more Olivers, Farmalls. Got an old white. Remember, white used to make trucks, and GMC bought them out, and then Volvo bought them out. So to his life. McCormick. Uh, natural gas trucks here our tractors and this is what is really cool this is the surprise here check out these steam engines over here look at that huge steam engine 60 horsepower holy cow I just imagine what kind of torque it made but look how freaking huge that is let me that's me for reference it's absolutely huge these are old steam engines how cool are these Oh my gosh, they were so huge back in the day. Imagine, see, you feel like you're sitting on top of the world. You're sitting higher than on top of a truck. Fordson, Ford, couple Ford tractors. Man, it's just some really cool things out here. Check it out, Murdo, uh, South Dakota. You got a Gremlin over here. Those are kind of cool cars. Built by Studebaker. First kind, I can't pronounce that. Easy. Another Studi. I know Studi's were made back in the 30s. That's cool. Looks like a Chevelle or Impala. An old Mercury right here. Another Studi, more Studies. There's a Lark. No bug. Ajax, a Nash. Yeah, Nash Metropolitan. If you guys ever see one of those, they're real tiny cars. They're very cool. I'm not too sure what this is. Looks like a Buick. Very cool though, very cool. More Buicks. Durant. Man, all these, it tickles me all these car companies that were started in the 20s and 30s that just never took off, but it's cool. American spirit, people trying to start new things. Rambler. It's a Hudson, but it's not a Hudson Hornet, so I don't care about it. Just kidding. <laughs> you had that other picture of the Hudson Hornet earlier in the video. Another Essex. Very cool cars. 1940 Graham. That looks kind of like a Lincoln now, doesn't it? That's a real cool looking car right there. 66 Chevelle. I want to say that's the first year. 69 Mustang Mach 1 428 Cobra Jet. 
same engine that was in GT500, a little bit more hopped up in the GT500. Little Red Express, oh, I love these trucks. These were made by Dodge. Check it out. They got the little exhaust, dual exhaust, dual stacks. V8, four speed. This was such a cool truck. I know my friend Dan is gonna really like that. Check out this video, Dan. Stop working on your 12 Dodge trucks. <laughs> got a Volkswagen thing over there. You got a couple Etzels here. They lost money on every single one of those cars. But very cool cars. Old Toyota pickup, DeSoto. AMC Javelin, 71. Okay, I was about to say, it didn't look like Javelins. I'm used to them, you see in like 69. Henry J, made by Kaiser. Oh, they got a Citroen here. Doesn't look like it's a Citroen DS though. Yeah, it does. Yeah, these are such cool cars, man. Front engine, front wheel drive, but it's latitudinally uh, mounted and the transmissions on the front of the engine so many cool things about hydraulic suspension four-wheel disc brakes just a really really cool car man really cool car They're made in france i mean i could just go on and on and on about these cars but i i forgot about all the all the different things about them but the hydraulic suspension was really the coolest thing about these so you could actually change a tire without without jacking it up you just push a button and you can lift one side and lower the other side and everything real smooth riding car amx so that's the amc's i'm used to 77 mustang 2 jester has a 77 uh, mustang cobra it is very cool man it's got a 302 1950 Trabant. Made by uh, communists. That's what you get when you get communist cars. They run about a year or two, maybe. <laughs> and this is one thing that I think is one of the coolest things over here. They got a Lamborghini tractor. They had two of them. Now, Lamborghini started off making tractors, not cars, actually. It's a lot of them. Uh, viewers know and a bunch of smart people know and they made, made a hell of a tractor let me tell you nice cars too but check out that craftsmanship man that's really cool that's really cool some more johnny pops alice Cham chalmers i grew up uh Riding the Alice Chalmers tractor when I was just like three years old. A lot bigger than this one, though. It was kind of cool. It had two throttles on the steering wheel where you had to kind of balance out the throttle so it didn't die. Cool things, cool things that little kids should, should get to know now. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this snowmobile. Now, I know Model, they made a Model A. Yeah, this is a Model A. Okay. Yeah, they made a Model A snowmobile here. That is just so cool. It'd be nice up here back in the 30s. It sure does get snowy over here. Bunch of old tractors. Now, Alice Chalmers. John Deere. Not a lot of natural gas trucks. Oh, a Porsche tractor. I showed you that Lamborghini tractor. Not a lot of people know that Porsche used to make tractors too. Very, very cool, man. Yeah, check out old Porsche and, and, and Lamborghini tractors. They're just the bee's knees back in the day. Now this shed is from my grandpa over here. Got a whole bunch of old fire engines over here. Ladder trucks, very cool. My grandpa used to be a firefighter back in the 50s. You'll recognize some of those uh, 
helmets over there. Got a bunch of old suits. Very cool. Horse drawn wagons over here. Sirens. Fire extinguishers. Diamond T. Old Diamond T. But like I said, they got a bunch of old antiques here too. Got a little washing machine there. All kind of stuff. I don't even know what it is. Looks like a loom over here and a bunch of old cast iron stoves. A couple record players here. You got a little barber shop here. Our dentist, oh, sorry, dentist office. That's what it used to be like back in the day. Got a bunch of old cameras over here. Very cool. Wheelchairs. Old post office. Looks like an old piston connecting rod for an old steam engine over there. Anyway, let's check out this caboose here. I always thought this one was kind of cool how they got this set up. Oh man, it used to be all full of stuff. Maybe that's the other. Maybe there's another train car. But yeah, this is how old cabooses used to be back in the day. Got an old engine here. Overhead valve. Yeah, it's not a flathead. Oh, this is a six cylinder over here. Gear driven cam. There's a fuel pump. There's a carburetor over here in the intake. Got the little pistons in there, you can see spark plugs. Now this looks like a newer engine. This can't be from the 30s or something. Ah, 1950. I was about to say, yeah, does not look like it's from the 30s, that's for sure. But very cool, very cool cut off, cut out of an engine. That's it for this video. Yeah, check out the Pioneer Auto Show and Museum over here, Murdo, South Dakota. Stop at the pilot over here, cross the street. Exit 193 on I-90, if I remember right. Very cool place. Smell Chester Truckers. Have a great day.